Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchasso, and today I'm feeling a little bit demonic. So, I've been thinking for a while, and I thought to myself that, well, yeah, we have just proven ourselves <laughs> that, well, we can reach fun in the stars, that's the first thing, but secondly, we have proven ourselves in combat against the heretics, and maybe, just maybe, there's hope for us yet, maybe we are worthy of the Dark Ones, and as such, I believe it is of the highest importance to continue our advancement towards unifying the galaxy in our struggle against the Dark Ones, and that can only be done in one way, by purging everybody who dares to oppose the rule of darkness. And these guys right here, they want peace. And peace means not fighting the bright ones, which is wrong. They are literally the most evil force in the universe. I don't care about the fact that they're pacifists. That's just the sense of how evil those guys are. They're horrible beings. Seriously, I don't know how they can live with themselves. Thankfully, I can bring liberation to them and mend the situation somewhat. However, before I do that, let's have a quick look at my research. Ooh, better point defense. That's what allowed me to win that previous war so well. So upgrading it would not be a very bad idea. I can also get so, go ahead and get some better shoots, that wouldn't be bad either. Some better energy, that could actually be kind of necessary if I remember it correctly. Yeah, I'm running a little bit tight on energy at this point in time. But getting better point defense drone I think is even more important. And was combat rolls, again, there's a lot of amazing stuff I can get. Ooh, wow, that's Research a doubt. Complete. But I think I'm gonna go for advanced combat roll. No, I mean, very point defense. Because of how effective it is against AI. Also, human players as well. I mean, humans in multiplayer just for some reason tend to believe that nobody will get point defense drones and just spam torpedoes and missiles. And then I'm like, lol, no, my destroyer can destroy your battleship because I have point defense and you're using torpedoes. So, yeah. Personally, I'm not a fan of uh, using those things myself outside of early game because of how risky it is. So, anyway. Let's see, defense station, uh, impulsive thrust trap, being having a faster fleet with more evasion, that would be nice. Getting better armor, um, that wouldn't be the worst thing either, but I can get even better armor for more or less the same cost. And that's actually quite a bargain. I think I might go for that super efficient armor, why not? I mean, sure, the evasion chance is really nice actually, compared to what I have, what I do I have? It's uh, plus, eh, that's like a 5 to evasion, that's not that much actually, so I think I am gonna go for the uber nice armor. Also, look at the kind of torpedoes the enemy is using. Armor torpedoes, seriously, that's just OP. Except, not against me, because I'm not a dummy. Alrighty then, let's see, what else can I get for myself? More leader capacity and less of a leader recruitment cost. That's complete. always nice. It's really expensive though, I think I'm gonna make my bar ups a bit better first. Since I cannot afford a leader anyway. Alright, unemployment. Why are you unemployed? Because uh, you have no job, I suppose. That is the logical conclusion you could make over here. Let's see. I'm running tight on planets. I might actually go for a mineral silo. How, what is my ca maximum? Oh, no, never mind. I don't need a mineral silo. Let's just get more minerals. And there we go. Nice and easy. And then get more power because I'll need to run those minerals on something, I suppose. Alrighty then. In the background, I queued up a bunch of stuff. So you just so you scout out this area. Man, I love the range I have now. Oh, Whew. sorry. Outside of uh, my room in real life, there is just, there was just a huge lightning strike in the distance. I had no idea that there is a storm coming, but evidently there is. So I need to finish this video before then because you know one of the disadvantages of living in a village. Complete is actually kind of fairly obvious and kind of a big disadvantage. It means that when there is a final stone, chances are you're not gonna have any power whatsoever and that's what usually happens. So yeah, however, there are no clouds directly above me from what I can tell, so I think I still have plenty of time to record, hopefully. Anyway, I made myself a military station at infinite degree because it looks like the enemy was probably gonna try to take that. Now of my construction ship, I don't think I have anything else to do, but those guys are really being really pesky. That's just them urging me. Whew, I'm sorry, I, I'm not a big fan of thunderstorms and it's really actually getting really bright outside. Holy balls. Wow, the, that started out of nowhere. I kind of wish I was recording the outside in real world than what is happening in Stellaris right now because, uh, I mean, if I were to look at it 
on the monitor of my computer. I'd probably say that it's kind of nice and pretty and whatnot, but uh, right now I'm not a fan. Also, oh yeah, we learned a lot, lot about Wandering Forest. That's amazing, especially since I will need that for science. Okay, dear construction vehicle, I just want you to enter the orbit and stay there because I don't know what else I could do with you. Now, in the meantime, I need to continue make sh making ships. But, 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 before I do that, I have access to battleships now. So, let us go ahead and grab one or two or three or twenty. Uh, but first I need to design one. So let's cancel. <sighs> Sorry. Found some. Anyway, let's go ahead and first des uh, design a battleship of a new, really queen dwarf rename that I'm gonna love. Of course, I mean, da. It's darkness. Also, somebody died. I don't care. That's our leader. Uh, whatever. Leaders die. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be my budget battleship. Let's slow down time because I'm wasting time designing instead of actually doing anything, something with my resources. So the first battleship is going to be my um, most important battleship, but also the cheapest battleship. So I can spam it and it's going to be really cost efficient in battle. So it's going to have no augments whatsoever. These are really powerful. They allow the battleships to obviously perform the variety of different roles on the battlefield. It's really useful, but on my main Battleship, I prefer not to have any because look at how much energy each one of those uses. 200, that's a lot, even when you have the best reactors in the game. And those things, and those guys are not gonna have those kind of reactors. So, Construction yeah. complete. Construction complete. I hope things are still queued up, but it looks like I'm running out of queue order, so I need to hurry it up. So, I don't think I have any. Oh, actually, wait a second, I do have the amoeba. Uh, but I don't want this to be my carrier. I want this to be my. the thing that destroys everything in its path. So let's go ahead and go for pulse breakers. Followed up with a singularity call. So that's a lot of big weapons. It's going to destroy pretty much anything that's big coming towards my battleship. It's going to be my artillery ship. So it's similar to what I was using the cruisers. To how I was using the cruisers up until now. Situation and just to make sure that everything is good and that the ship is safe, I'm gonna go ahead and add it the point defense drones. Uh, two will be enough, so I might add in something that's close range and a little bit better against something that uh, is a bit of a smaller ship, I suppose. But this ball work actually looks pretty stupid. Ah, uh, this one doesn't look all that great either. Let's go for the EM ball work. So, when it comes to weapons, obviously I'm not gonna go for anything bright. I already did uninstalled plasma flowers from every single one of my ships. Actually, let's go ahead and make a bunch of destroyers while I'm working that. Just so that you know, I'm not com feeling like I'm completely wasting time. Anyway, so railgun is what I'm gonna install on everything, with the exception of I do need the auto cannon. And actually, now that I think about it, auto cannon is gonna do amazing against small ships. So I don't need to install anything on the medium bulwark. I do need some small things for point defense, unless I don't install any point defense on this guy. That would be an option. Not to install any point defense on my leading on my leading battleship, but I'll install point defense on every other type of battleship I'm gonna have in my fleet. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. So this guy, purely artillery piece, and not the best one. Somebody can skull across it, but it does pack a punch for very little energy. I mean, look at this energy usage for a battleship. It's really not a lot, actually. Also, this thing is broken. Apparently, those weapons are inside the ship. Whatever. Anyway, as for what this ship is gonna have, I mean, at some point I'm gonna upgrade the ammo, of course, but that's gonna have to wait. Let's go ahead and install a lot of shields. Let's go ahead and get myself some energy to spot those shields, because I'm really gonna need that. A bit more, a bit more. That's plus 15, that's gonna do me just fine. That's also gonna increase the effectiveness of my weapon slightly, which is nice. And 37% armor. Once I get better technology, it's gonna be much higher than that, so it's gonna be great. And 1,200 points of shields, it's gonna be great. Assuming I do um, remember to stock up on point defense drones for other ships. So, let's save up the darkness. And let's go ahead and start making the darkness. So, you do, sir. Uh, please... Actually, no. Let's make darkness on systems that do not have all right, first of all, I need to actually make sure that I can make battleships. So let's go ahead and queue up the necessary upgrades everywhere I can so that battleship production can proceed smoothly, nice and easy. Should have done so earlier. So since I have the time now, let's go to a different, to a system with a different background. Red, white, I mean yellow, 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 I think it's yellow or red. Oh, this is blue, I like it. 
it looks more fitting. It's, I mean, this is uh, still bright, but no, I shouldn't go. Holy balls! Those, I'm sorry. It's really hard to cast it with all this lining around. I really do dislike it. Anyway, let's go ahead and think. So I was supposed to design a new type of battleship as well, alongside one. So I do want to go ahead and make some carriers. So this is gonna be my carrier. How do we carry darkness? <sighs> Carrying implies having a lot of things that you hold. Photons are really small and you carry them, so... Is that how you spell photon? I have actually never spelled photon, the word photon in English, so... I suppose that that's how it would be spelled, but I haven't actually ever seen that in text, I just realized. So let's hope I'm not wrong on that, because otherwise I would be a dummy. So that's gonna be my carrier ship. I'm not gonna have too many of those, I don't think, but it's gonna be the guy of, kind of guy who goes in for the kill and unleashes all of the little guys around it and tries to destroy the enemy. And for that I'm probably gonna want to have shield disruptors so that uh, my weapons are more efficient since this battleship is gonna try to get right next to the action. So it's gonna be my breakthrough kind of battleship. So, a hangar isn't necessary and another hangar over here. Two hangars, in fact. Let's go ahead and get that. And I cannot get any hangars over here. So first, let's say I'm gonna have plenty of point defense, but no large weapon. And I do need this guy to have a large weapon. So let's go ahead and go for infinite, infinity bulwark as well. So obviously I'm gonna go for the amoeba. Amoeba are really, really, really ridiculously powerful. Fighters, so that's gonna be that. Uh, peace offer, yep, those guys made peace. We're gonna see what happened over there. For my long range cannon, a uh, railgun is probably the best for my. Uh, no, actually, so auto cannon could be a little bit better since it has better accuracy. And this guy is gonna get right in between the enemy ships, and presumably that means that he's actually gonna fight a lot of smaller ships. So auto cannon is gonna be better for this kind of guy. So this is gonna tear through the enemy's destroyers, no problem, I see. And as for the other type of weapons, Oh, they created some kind of new thingy. Alright, go ahead and do that. So... <sighs> sorry. So, uh, let's see. I do need point defense. I'm gonna need quite a decent amount of this. So two in front and maybe even two more. Let's say uh, a bit further back. So this guy is pretty secure against any kind of torpedo attacks and whatnot. And he's also gonna shield the rest of my fleet, which is gonna be fairly nice. Now I'm gonna follow it up with... Construction complete. Let's say another auto gun up front. It's complete. a smaller one, but it's still gonna do its job. And also a few rail guns just to, Construction you know, they have a better accuracy, so they're gonna pick up really complete. small ships that are around me, I suppose. Now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some shields to the mix. So like last time, plenty of shield, plenty of reactors as well. This guy, however, look at its values. That's because of the ship mounted shield dampener. So I'm gonna need to have. Even more. Uh, holy boast! Could you stop with the lightning strike? Seriously! Uh, I really am scared that this video is gonna be cut out because there will be power out it right now. Maybe it won't happen. Okay. Look at how much power I need to add to the ship so that it, it doesn't just run out of power. That's re it's really ridiculous. All right. Now it's at positive balance, it, so I can actually start adding some armor, and it doesn't have a lot of armor. I do admit. Uh, but it's gonna be fine. Let's assume it's gonna be good. Also, anti-photon. Uh, I mean, just one giant anti-photon. Well, I suppose this guy is gonna. Nobody said that we need multiple anti-photons to fight photons. So this one guy is gonna be enough to do a lot of things. So barriers close. Border closed. All right. No access to somewhere. Somewhere. All right. There's still a bit of my system, I think. Maybe. Anyway, this guy is no longer the ally of my former friend, they are just entirely different best now. Fine. See if I care. I don't. I'm really surprised that those guys did not intervene though. I thought that they are gonna be better than that. Or at least rival the guys that just destroyed their vassal, or rather the guy who was the protectorate. Instead they did nothing, which seems rather weird. It really is weird actually. I have no idea what's happening over there. Anyway, blessing. I don't have much space for new ships, so just make myself a few darkness battleships. I will go over the cap, by the way. I have no problems doing that. You make my make me. Oh, I'm actually lucky. Minerals. That's a first. I mean, not maybe a first, but it's been a while. So 
you make me an anti photon and since I'm actually needing to have more minerals because I have solid two. Now I do know that I have a policy which lowers the amount of minerals I have. Huh? Where did it go? I had it enabled. Because I like it because, sure, it does lower the amount of energy credits and minerals that you gain, but because of my increased happiness, I still, it's only lowered by like 6% or something. I don't remember the exact math now, but it was not a lot. And it still increases uh, your science by a ton, and I do need to have increased science, so yeah, I'm gonna have that on. Still, I never expected to actually run out of minerals, that's really unexpected, so I guess I need to have more. Uh, let's have a quick look then, shall we? At my sectors. Sectors, you are working hard on military. I don't think you need to do that anymore. Focus more on industry for the time being. I'm sure you're well fortified by now, you should do just fine. So there's that, uh, let's see. Let's make another ship. I should have actually plenty of destroyers. Let's see how many destroyers I have compared to other ships. Well, regardless, I don't have any battleships, so I just need to have more battleships. So let's go ahead and make another... I need at least two anti-photons. Two carriers are necessary because of how many point defense drones they have. Now, meanwhile, as for the cruisers, Let's go into a system of some kind so that we have the background image. That's better. So, cruisers, cruisers, cruisers. You need to not have this anymore. There's no need for you to have better scouting thingy because I'm using my battleships for that now. Let's destroy the same thing. Now, let's design one more battleship, shall we? And this is going to be my support battleship, which is there to help the rest of the fleet. So, it's probably gonna stay a little bit further back, similarly to Darkness. Uh, oh, I really love the looks of Lifebreaker. It looks delicious. Shame that uh, it's actually kind of useless because medium and small weapons on this kind of ship. Yeah, not ideal. Let's have a Titan Breaker so that I can have plenty of point defense drones. It's also gonna be my point defense thingy, I suppose. Looks a bit li like a battleship from Starcraft, doesn't it? Anyway, let's add in some more large... Or should I actually go for a hangar and use that for... No, 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 It's this ship is supposed to stay... Al little bit further back so let's do that and as for the last section it's also gonna be that actually I'm a bit curious should I no it's good it's good I'm satisfied with what I have it's a bit boring because it's similar to darkness but it's not the same as darkness so I think it's gonna be fine it looks different so that's not really something important I suppose alrighty then so first things first obviously this guy is gonna stay back so I do want it to have rail guns and a lot of railguns, but it will have an autocannon. Just to make sure that if some kind of, I don't know, let's say a destroyer comes up close to it, it's gonna be able to take it down relatively easy with autocannon. It's still supposed to be mostly an artillery ship, like the other ones, and that's why I'm gonna have it kill my other ships, which is actually a really powerful effect and I love it a lot. So this guy is not supposed to necessarily... Sorry. Uh, be in combat, he is supposed to support us. And over there, plenty of point defense drones, nice and easy. And now let's add in some shields for you, this sir. Like so, and I don't want this guy to have too many shields, because I want him to be fully functional even if I run out of power, which I might, I don't have that much of a bank, unfortunately. So, when you when you run out of power, your shields drain. So I don't want to rely on them too much. Then again, 12... 100 is a really nice amount of shields, but I don't think I'll have the power to run them anyway, actually, because I do have this other thingy going for me. So let's go ahead and install those thingies. And I'll resign from another shield, like so. And then I'll stock this guy up on armor. Like so. Because I do want this guy to make sure, do want to make sure that this guy is functional even in an environment when I run out of power. So this is usually an environment when I'm on the run all the time, and this guy will save my fleet from being destroyed by being when it's chased around all the time. And he needs to be alive to do that, so that's why he's got the armor. <sighs> Fight my inner fears. Complete. Fight my inner fears. All right, let's continue doing this. I will destroy the bright ones, and actually. That fits the film perfectly! I don't like Thunderstone. Thunder is bright, isn't it? So, I'm the perfect leader for my people, aren't I? Anyway, dear says, let us go ahead and think. How do I deal with the name of this guy? He is the... He's... 
I don't know if calmness sounds teenager enough, but uh, again, no offense to teenagers out there. But, uh, you know, darkness is calmness, it's peace, it's, it's just nice. You know what? Niceness would sound more ridiculous, so let's go for that. Niceness. Alright then, niceness design is where we have our hair. I don't know where that came from, but uh, let's just, let's go with that, shall we? Alright, so I'm gonna need to have at least one of those guys, so let's make sure that he is under construction. Niceness, there you go. In construction now. Also, I just finished physics research, I don't remember research what- Research complete. Ooh, better shoot regen. I don't care about that whatsoever. Alright, alright, I have point defense, better point defense now. That's good to know. In that case, stop making that. I'm gonna retrofit my ships ASAP. So, darkness, my old friend. Let's see, I now have... Where is it? Better armor. That's good. I have, uh, let's see... Weapons, 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 better point defense. Oh, no. Yeah, right, you're not carrying any. Let's make the changes and... Uh, Start construction of a new darkness, shall we? Somebody died, I don't care who did, I'm probably not gonna care about this person anyway. Oh, Battleship assembly yards, yes please. That's gonna be extremely important. And as for this, weapons, uh, I mean better point defense drones are nice, but I don't care about that too, too much. This thing is sort of bright, so I hate it. <sighs> better energy is always useful though. As Persia says, I am having some problems with that, as you have noticed already, so let's go for that. Construction complete. Okay, then let's retrofit my other ships because it looks like I will need to do just that. So, dear destroyer, you're gonna need to have a better point defense drone and a bit of a better armor as well, and uh, that's all that I can install on you right now. So, that I still have plenty of cruisers, I'm pretty sure. And cruisers actually benefit from better armor a lot, so let's make sure that you have that. And also, better point defense drone as same as last time. Save, yes. And then all the battleships, yes, I have to do that as well. Why only... Oh yeah, those battleships are grouped out together now, I see. Okay, then, let's uh, do a steel armor to all of you over there, and barrier point defense to over here, save, yes. Also, it's good that I had the excess power, because I actually, I actually still run those better point defense drones, even though, well, they are better, so they are harder to actually install. And you just uh, same deal, even though I literally just designed you, but now I can actually install better stuff on you, so that's important. Better armor! And man, after we're done with that, I will probably be able to actually attack the enemy because my fleet is about ready. Those ships are much more powerful than they were just moments ago. Uh, let's see. Let's create another darkness, I think. We're gonna need to have a little bit of extra kick when we fight. We will have one niceness, which is gonna be fine. I think one niceness will be enough. Once all the, ship, all the battleships that I'm currently producing are produced, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, declare war on the enemy. I think it's gonna be good. I could go for... Hmm... I could go for maybe another darkness. No, I'm gonna be way over naval capacity and I certainly do not want to run out of energy too fast because I really don't have much of a bank, unfortunately. As much as I wish I did. So there is that. <sighs> Let me drink a little bit, shall I? Alright. Mm. Science ship, please explore the system if you can and then come back to my capital to continue assisting the research nice and easy. Alrighty then. Also I can I might as well retrofit my defense platforms since I am actually using them and they are I mean they're paying for themselves, I suppose. They're not worst, certainly, not by any stretch of the imagination. So let's make sure that you have a bit of a better point defense over here and over here. And now you're out of power, which is actually kinda annoying. So I guess slightly point defense drone is fine. It's not a very big difference between the two. It actually is a pretty big difference, but still I don't don't want to change any of this design. So let's save up. At the very least, this guy has more armor now. So you dear says you need to die. Should I insult them? I will insult them. Would that do anything? I mean that might make them that won't make them do anything really. I'm still gonna insult them for being with the bright ones. How dare you? How dare you just uh, be like that? You're causing right next to me, shoving your brightness in my face. Well, I do say I would not like to have any of that brightness in my face right now because it's quite frankly disgusting. Alrighty then, let's move my fleets to my capital because I'll have to pay less for them there. Enter orbit, and then I'm gonna retrofit everything I have. 
Actually, speaking of which, my capital shouldn't be working on Darkness ship because that's where I'm gonna retrofit my ships. Oh well, too late now. Let's have a look at my fleet composition. So I ha will have a few battleships, 10 cruisers, that's actually a really high amount of cruisers, but 45 destroyers is an acceptable amount of destroyers. I might actually want to have more, but I'm still gonna be way over naval capacity anyway, so I don't necessarily want to do that. I mean, look at that. I already am just barely held in terms of breaking even when it comes to energy credits. I need to do something to make that a little bit better. So, oh, you just actually are gonna do just fine in, te in terms of that. So, let's go ahead and make a mineral processing plant. Will be awesome, yes. But I need a power hub first. Then let's go ahead, go ahead and make a mineral processing plant. Why not? But not here. Cancel. Yes. This is a good place for a mineral processing plant. And then make a bunch of power plants because Dia says I'm gonna need it so badly you will not even believe it. So there is that thing. And after I'm done with that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and make you into basic science lab because hey why not that's extra science everybody loves them some more science you just say uh, i could upgrade but this would lower my power output which i don't want but i do want to create another power planter here no reason not to do that so let's go ahead and do it and then upgrade the planetary capital so i can have even more power coming from you potentially assuming there is no other planetary capital to upgrade and it doesn't look like there is there are plenty of buildings to upgrade but then again upgrading those would lower my energy income so i don't want to do this so where is the thing i can upgrade there we go so i can upgrade you my dear planetary capital and it's gonna be wonderful okay then Whew. system so that use up a lot of my influence but that's okay okay this system is kind of worthless that's okay my fleets are being produced and my invasion armies i didn't mention that but off camera i did queue up Invasion armies on a lot of planets, including Infinite Grid, because this plan, this system is also relatively likely to be invaded. So I did need to have it defended by some offensive armies that I can also move towards the enemy planets if necessary. So let's see, where is this planet? Hilfus. Can I have a look? Is this? Ah, oh, that's the newly conquered thingy. All right, then let's embark all, and let's have you at the misleader. And uh, actually, no, let's not have you to the misleader. Let's have you with the main fleet. So for the time being, you're gonna just enter the orbit right there. It's gonna be nice, I assure you. It's gonna be lovely. You're gonna love it. <sighs> can I install? No, I cannot install any upgrades on that infantry right now. But I can do that for things that are on Infinite Grid Prime. So that's actually very boring, pro a very boring process. But it is actually saving you some energy so by installing this attachment to every single one of your units you can lower its energy maintenance which is a very good thing to do but it's also incredibly slow and painful and i wish you could select multiple guys multiple things at once but as you can see you can't there's literally no way to do this any faster than i already am doing it so that's the problem, and that's why I won't probably bother doing it on every planet, Thank because you. that would seriously just take way too long. Okay then, let's see. Everybody who's not on Hated 1, go to Hated 1. Only have two more destroyers coming, so that's gonna be fine. When it comes to buildings, I think there's nothing else to do. So let's have a quick look at my governors. Alright, I only need a governor for the Order of Hatred, because that's where... Uh, Baddies uh, all the time. Not physics output. I'll probably recruit a new one, in fact, if I can afford it. I can't. You're extraordinarily expensive for some reason. Why? Because of my Admiral? That's interesting. Alright, then you have to manage the order of hatred. He should still do a fairly okay job, I think. And I think I'm gonna switch you into. I don't wanna switch you to financial focus just yet, but I might do it later. We'll see about that either way. So there's that. Inactive buildings. Well, we'll need to do something about that, won't we? So like this and like this. You're growing faster, aren't you? Yes, 18 food. That's plenty of food. So it's gonna be nice. You have lowered energy production, but again, that's because of my policy. It's still not lowering it by a ton, so it should be entirely fine. Let's see. Two more ships, and we can do this. Oh, we're on normal speed. That's why they're being so... S why it takes so long for them to actually be made. Jeez, I'm really... Retata Retatarded? Wow, I also cannot speak apparently. 
Let me drink a bit more. Mm. All right, then. As soon as they're ready, we're gonna unleash a storm. Bad actually moment to mention that. We're gonna unleash an entire storm to consume the universe or at the very least the Stormable Empire. So, another uh, battleship is ready. That's very nice. Let's go ahead and merge you guys. Complete. Uh, yeah, we, I don't actually want to merge you. Enter orbit. Nice. Let's see. There's one other guy over here. Enter orbit. Make sure that everybody is on the hated one. So somebody died, a governor, right? Which governor? The governor of this planet? That's a shame, he was actually pretty good if I remember correctly. Do you have anybody else who is pretty good with science, aside from the guy I've just reassigned? We probably do. He's uh, at Miss Leader Prime, I want you to be here instead, you're gonna do a much better job since this is my science producing planet. Alrighty then. Now you just says I'm gonna merge you again and I'm gonna start upgrading you. Which is costing me moderate amount but it's gonna be fine. And once that is done, ooh lo look at the new ships. They're so big and cool and this guy still looks like he's got no weapons installed on top of him. It's really ridiculous and kind of stupid but I suppose. Bugs are bugs and when it comes to paradox, don't get me wrong. They're nice. I like the games. I like Stagaris too. Some people say that it's a little bit bare bones. Sure it is. Some people say that it's built to, you know, accommodate DLC. Of course it is. We're talking about Paradox. But I like the base game enough to spend, I don't know, it's probably almost 100 hours by now. Which uh, to me says that it is a fun game to play. Alright. Alright, you continue upgrading nice and easy. Uh, let's see, what is this? Inactive building? Alright, that's right. You can now extract minerals. Uh, who do I move? Actually, I have two inactive buildings. Alright, I'm gonna move you. And I'm gonna move... Uh, how much food do you have? 13? That's still a decent amount, but I do want to grow at a somewhat fast-ish rate. So, if I have... You are giving me a lot of research, though. I don't want to move this guy. Ships let's upgraded. move him. And the ships are upgraded! Complete. Well, that was fast. Okay then. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for a cliffhanger. When we come back, somebody is gonna die. It was Panchas, also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you online.